<laughs> it's Thursday. <laughs> and, you know, what started as, let's be honest, a piece of whimsy. <laughs> Folly, if you will. Uh, the, the, the notion, the dream of raising Nick Bernstein, the senior vice president of... What's your... What's his job again? Yeah, you're there. You're there. You're there. Senior yeah. vice president of CBS Late Night. The senior vice president of CBS Late Night is here tonight, and look how much he's raised. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? How's it going up there, Nick? Uh, uh, it's it's really. Um, this was a funny joke a few days ago. Yeah. Uh, can I be honest? It's it's the funniest it's been today. <laughs> I'm just glad everyone else is enjoying themselves so much. Well, you're having a great time. Look at you. I've, yes. This whole week's been an absolute joy. <laughs> but now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> You're all right. You're on a platform. You're OK. I am. But I, I, like... can... I actually think this is safer than it was last night. Yeah, that would be great. You might be right. <laughs> I do. I missed my opportunity to, like, grab a drink, because it's too far away now. I could adjust the lights if I want. There you go. There's a lot of... Look at that. You've got your own light. I, I ha... Yeah, they're all... I have all the lights. You have all <laughs> the lights. Now, regular viewers of the show will know we've been discussing uh, <laughs> the, uh, the possibility of doing a week of shows on a cruise ship. <laughs> Do you ever get the feeling we've been in here too long? <laughs> <laughs> Think about them. Just unpack for a minute the first two things we've talked about on this show. Watch any other late night show, they're bang in with the news. We're like, we're like, let's see how high we can get Nick. But <laughs> well, we've been talking about the, the, the notion of doing the show from a cruise ship for a week. <laughs> Nick is the network exec executive in charge of such things. Nick, we had no updates yesterday. Do we have any updates today? Yeah, we do. We have an update today. I, uh, I, got a, I got a call from the sales department uh, today. From the cruise ship or the network? From the network, the network sales department. Uh, they were very nice. They've enjoyed this whole week. But then they kindly told me, like, Nick, be smart about what you say on the air. <laughs> uh, they are in conversations as we speak with Carnival Cruise. They <laughs> wanted to check with me that we're all serious about this. Well, I know that, I know that Rob considers this to be an absolute nightmare. For me... <laughs> For me, I see nothing but, a, but, but pluses on this, right, Calms? I think we'd have a great time. Oh, yeah. Easy. Blue, blue skies and calm seas ahead, as far as I can tell. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. we, well, look at this. We've added a new noise. We've added a new noise to the thing. Listen to this. <laughs> Step aboard, Captain. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Why aren't you into this? I don't... I think it'll be a nightmare. Oh, you're wrong. <laughs> you're so wrong. You're so wrong. You only think it'll be a nightmare because Ben suggested yesterday that Rob and his wife renew their vows <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> During the show. And then it just spiralled out of control. People were like, yeah, if it's one of those boats with a water slide, you could come down the slide. <laughs> and Rob was just... Rob was just looking like, you idiots. <laughs> I'm into this. Ben, Ben's thing was like, what are we going to do about guests? I was like, as opposed to the volume of guests that zoom into the show. <laughs> I, I, I think we'll be fine. Plus, you meet a lot of interesting people on a cruise ship. Yeah. No question. Like, if we just treat it like a, our own episode of Love Boat, it would be great. That's exactly what we should do. And the credits at the end of the show, we should, we should redo <laughs> the credits so it's you have been watching. And it's all of us just popping up in yes. different places. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yep. It's, me, it's me and Pete under a duvet in a bed, and we're like... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an... And introducing Ian Carmel. Hold on. OK. And introducing Ian Carmel. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. Rob, let's see yours. Executive producer, <laughs> Rob Crabb. <laughs> <laughs> 
And who can forget head of sound? It's Susan. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Come on, Rob. We're already making content. And remember that it takes all takes place inside of a life preserver. <laughs> Except for Nick, who by that point will be on the very top of the mast. <laughs> You'll be on the very, very top of a ship. Go on, you'll be, you're right on the top. You're right up high and give us the... Nick Bernstein! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hey, we've got a full show. We've got a full show tonight, gang. We've got to jump in. We've got a full show. Nothing we can do about it. Nothing we can do about it. Zero we can do about it. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. We're a full show. Set sail. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's... Let's be honest, it's fractionally too long. <laughs> Isn't it? It's fractionally too long. You want it to be here, look. All right, let's... <laughs> let's get into the news. Thank you for joining us. We've actually got some great news to pass on. Coronavirus cases in the United States have just hit a seven-month low. Wow. Look at that. Damn. Oh, well. COVID's hit a seven-month low, just as Nick Bernstein's chair has hit a seven-month high. <laughs> I can tell it's even starting to affect, like, my outlook. Can you feel it when you're out? I can feel... Now, if I'm in a... If I'm in a supermarket or a grocery store and I see someone having a meltdown about wearing masks, I'm like, well, let's hear them out. <laughs> <laughs> Experts say the decline is due to the vaccine. That's right, we're vaxxed, waxed, relaxed. Grab a snack. <laughs> um, in other news, the space travel company founded by Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, has just announced a date for its first space tourism flight. On July 20th, the company will fly six passengers on a trip to outer space. Can we take the show to space? <laughs> yes. You know, once we've done the cruise, I think that's our next frontier. Yep. You, know who, you know who our first guest is? Tom Cruise. He'll do it. Oh, Do you yeah. know how hard it was to get them to agree to let you jump out of a plane with, with Tom, Tom Cruise? Cruise. <laughs> the difference here is we're staying in the spaceship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we're not jumping out of no, it. No, so we're just going to do a show in space. Way safer. Way safer. Yeah, look, I say, I, of course. Yes, absolutely, let's go to space. I'm already there, practically. Yeah. <laughs> Can we see that rocket again? I'll tell you what. That thing will have absolutely no trouble penetrating the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, did everybody see this? A four-year-old is making headlines after making an accidental purchase on Amazon. He accidentally bought $2,600 worth of SpongeBob SquarePants popsicles, and all 918 popsicles were delivered. Yeah, <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> there should really be a warning on Amazon where if someone orders 918 SpongeBob popsicles, it's like, hey, did you really mean to do this? Because even if you did it on purpose, it's still a decision you should probably be pressed on. <laughs> <laughs> a child accidentally spent over $2,500 online just to make sure he doesn't order any popsicles again. The account's been frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.